Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to make another video just sitting in my car, so... So it's officially May now. It's my birthday month. And uh, you know, I figured what better way to tell y'all what I've been up to the past month or so than go for a run. You know, I miss vlogging. It's a beautiful day. And so, yeah, there's a lot to catch up on. All right, here we go. We're not we're on it. We're not even a mile in kind of cringe, but Basically the whole entire month of April. I just worked. I just did gig economy and uh, I had to pay my my bills I had to pay my accountant and I finally just got all that cleared But in the meantime, I've also really been trying to get out of my comfort zone. Okay, so first thing I remember is I actually um, took a delivery um, to this place called 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. I've always heard about it on like Joe Rogan and stuff and I've always been curious about getting into martial arts but yeah I delivered a pound of brisket there and uh, I was too scared to talk to them and I went back to my car and I was like Jake you will not forgive yourself if you don't go back in there and try and talk to them and so I did uh, and I got my free lesson. I got I you know scheduled a lesson and I fell in love with it. The the issue is it's uh, I can't afford it right this second and so I'm really trying to figure out how I can work my butt off for that but that's just one way um, and then another way is uh, I found like running groups so I've actually been running with other people um, and that's that's pretty sick and then uh, you know speaking of getting out of my comfort zone and running a lot um, I actually participated in the biggest race in Texas and so here's the footage from that Good morning, 7.32 a.m. Uh, got my bib. There's a ton of people here. I'm excited, I'm gonna try and get a good time. And uh, most importantly though, just have a good time. So, we'll see how it goes. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> All right, I don't have my official time yet, but according to Strava, what I recorded, it was about a seven minute average pace, which is which is good for me on a, on a 10K, not a 5K. Uh, but now we're kind of at the after party, I guess you could call it. I mean, there's all different types of tents. Everyone's showing up here. Um, it's gonna be a good time. Check it out, we've got Wario, Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Bowser back there. That is sick. All right, we're about a mile and a half in. I'm just gonna stop for a second. Uh, so the Cap 10K, it was freaking amazing. Uh, probably the biggest race I've ever 
been in over 22,000 people. Um, if you're curious, ironically, I placed 420th out of over 22,000 people. That places me in the top 3% fastest runners. I'm proud of that. Okay, I'm proud of that. Uh, overall, amazing experience. And then uh, let's see what else. I did kind of sort of get another job. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but I know a lot of y'all in the comments have been saying, well, Jake, you, you went through eight years of drug addiction. Maybe you should try and find something in the recovery field. And so the other day I actually called around a whole bunch of different treatment centers here in Austin, and I got a hold of one of them. And uh, I've already worked one shift and uh, it, just, it just felt good to work it. Um, you know, it felt good to give back. I don't, again, I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, but you know, I'm just taking steps in the right direction. And like I said, trying to get out of my comfort zone. And so uh, let's keep going. Texas State Capitol, about uh, four miles in now. And uh, next thing I wanted to talk about is really weird. I don't even really know how to talk about it. Basically every year here in Austin, Texas, there's like this big outside party. Okay, bear with me. It's called Eeyore's birthday party, the depressed donkey thing. You know what I mean? Anyways, I, let me just show you the footage. <laughs> one of the more interesting things that I've been to. It's mostly like a, a furry, hippie, titties type of event. Look, Bob deserved it in case you missed it at the in the in the intro. He was trying to steal my banana, okay? We ended up doing a 10k today. Not a bad run for not really taking it serious or whatever. But uh anyways, uh Eeyore's birthday was pretty crazy. Um but the best part wasn't even the birthday. It was that while I was there, I actually got to meet another YouTuber. Um, didn't film it, didn't take any pictures. Uh, I honestly just wanted to get to know the guy. Um, Brandon Buckingham, shout out to, to, to you. Um, one of the most humble, open guys, but uh, he's killing it. He's killing it on YouTube, and that was kind of the, the next thing I wanted to, to kind of get into. I almost felt like making this video was pointless just because of how inconsistent I've been and uh, because of the lack I, ho I have in hope um, for the future, I suppose, of, of this channel. Um, of course, this is always gonna be my life and I'll always kind of make YouTube videos, but as far as it being a career, you know, it's, it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. And financially, I feel like is the, 
kind of the, like the main thing as to why I haven't been able to do it as much lately. So, <sighs> sorry, not sorry. It is what it is. You know, I'm just proud of myself for still continuing to get out of my comfort zone and try new, new things. Um, that's just, it's just kind of where I'm at currently. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but one thing's for sure, I'm going to keep, keep going and keep trying. So.